Hello YouTubers and YouTubettes. Welcome back to another episode and so today I'm going to be showing a new and improved way to make straw logs. Um, so in my other video that method still works pretty well but I found a better way and kind of streamlined a little bit and so I'm going to be walking you through the process and so let's get started. Alright so we're going to be using this lime. Um, this type of lime works much better than the other one I used in my other video. And um, to show what the ingredients are, let's see if I can get this in there better. Um, this is the type that you're going to want to use almost always. Um, you see the amount of manganese ox or magnesium oxide? It's less than half of a percent. And that is absolutely what you want and so um i've got these two 30 gallon tubs here what or whatever size they are maybe 25 or something like that and um i got them about two-thirds full of water with this spoon i put about half of a scoop into each one of these and so now i'm gonna i got this straw here and um the straw for its size, just so you can see it's tiny and it's hammered flat. Um, you want straw with uh, that's short and preferably hammered so that way that it's not whole. Um, and that's for multiple reasons, but primarily the mycelium will take over that straw much quicker than it will if the straw is still whole and longer. And so I'm going to go ahead and fill these two tubs up with straw almost all the way till the to the top of the wat the water and um, you you want to fill it up as much as possible but not to where the straw is going to be above the water level. And so if you put too much in just add more water. All right. So we've got these bins full and you can see there's water just right here under it and um you can see the water kind of gets a nasty brown color, and that's normal. But you're going to want to leave it like this for 12 to 18 hours or so. And um, 24 is all right, but ideally you don't want to go any longer than that, or else you're going to start killing off the good microbes and stuff. And um, some also is when you do a cold pasteurization like this what's gonna happen is the straw is gonna grow grass and that is completely normal the mycelium will take over the grass and kill it off and it'll be fine just something to think about and know alright so it's been about 14 hours and now I'm gonna put the straw on this little strainer thing I've made which is just a barrel cut in half with a screen over it so the liquid can fall out and the Hay will dry a little bit, and that's the next step. And then, so once I put it onto here and it dries, then I'm going to put it into a bin and add the desired mycelium. All right, so I've taken my mycelium out of a jar and put it directly into this hay or straw, and now I'm stirring it up. And then I'm going to put it directly into the um, log plastic. And um, I find that you get a lot better of a mix ratio doing it like this. And so it seems like it works a lot quicker as far as the mycelium taking over. And so now when you have your mycelium in the straw and you're trying to get the mycelium to grow but not ready to fruit mushrooms yet, you want the mycelium to be at 70 to 80 degrees temperature in the room that they're in or wherever you have them. And um, that's the mycelium will spread a lot faster to warm temperature. And then when you want it to start producing mushrooms, you're going to drop it down to say um, like 50 to 60 degrees and that will uh, have the mushrooms know that that's when they're supposed to start growing more and um, they'll start pinning out a lot quicker at, at changing the, of the temperatures. Alright, so put in the straw and the mycelium into these bags. And so once you get it in there, then you're going to want to Pack it down a little bit. Try 
gonna make sure you get my ceiling everywhere in there. The heavier pieces just seem to fall to the bottom, but just be thoughtful of that. Let's put it in there. Pack it down. And these are two straw logs that I'm actually selling to other people. So that's what these ones are going for. You can see I'm actually using mushroom bags themselves. And so then I'm going to use a vacuum sealer to seal these bags and then write the date on them and what they are and that's that.